Hello, hello. Whiskey Cactus here. Starting something brand new today. Um, I haven't tested this yet. So, this is... <laughs> when I did Ocarina of Time, I was um, very disoriented when it came to using the Switch Pro Controller uh, for Majora's Mask. Or for uh, Ocarina of Time at... It was very odd, so I'm doing it again for Majora's Mask, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here we are, guys. This is, if you don't know, if you're unfamiliar, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is what I, what I currently, and what I have for a long time, ranked as my favorite game ever. So... Let's jump into it. I could let this whole title screen sequence go. That's it'd be cool. I love it. It's great. We're not going to. Uh, so we're gonna jump in here, and I could be. Can't even use the directional pad. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Could be whiskey, but I'm gonna be Link. We'll be Link. Cause it's Link. Link is his name. His name is Link. All right. So here we go. I have not played Majora's Mask on the Switch Online yet. But well, we're about to. And I gotta remember that the, the buttons are different. <laughs> the land of Hyrule there echoes a legend. A legend that dear a legend dearly held by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from a land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time. Ha! He embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. Journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend, Navi the Fairy. How beloved and invaluable was she, really? <laughs> a friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. No, Navi's great. Navi's great, and I will not stand for the slander. Although, I will say Majora's Mask Fairy better. Is there, like, no sound coming out of this game? No, there's sound. Okay. Just making sure. Alright, I hear it. Can't tell because my TV's really low. By the way, 100% run. We're doing 100%. This is one of the few games... That I 100%, but I always 100% this one. Because you have to. You don't have to, but you you kind of you kind of do. You kind of have to. Feels bad not to 100% this one. It's the Skull Kid. Hehe, <laughs> you fairy, you two fairies did great. Wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm. This guy. Well, huh, that shouldn't be a problem. Waddle, 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 waddle. Mm. Found it. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. You also don't have hands. Oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Oh, Link's getting up. Oh, he's pissed. Look at him. Look how pissed he is. Yeah. Oh, dear. I don't think you're going to have skin on your legs anymore after this. So, remember how, um, Ocarina of Time, he, like, started the game by, like, waking up and, like, walking around and stuff? We are doing a fucking chase sequence immediately. Welcome to Majora's Mask, guys. 
shit hits the fucking fan right out the gate. All right, so uh, this is the B button. All right, B button. I'm gonna get as much money as I possibly can this early. That's that's the plan. That is the plan, big brain, because we want to get money very quickly. Actually, we don't want to don't want to do it too quickly, because <laughs> we're gonna have time to kill later. <laughs> if you know anything about this game? All right. So what is? I keep trying to use the right stick to move the camera. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. All right, so the right stick, I think, is going to be my C buttons. Is that right? I don't have C button items, so I can't really tell at the moment. Well, here we go. We are going to uh, chop bushes. God, the, the video quality here is really good. It's very clear and crisp. Just comparing it to, like, booting up my N64 <laughs> and having it stretch out across my HD TV. Oops. Oops. I always forget he does flips and shit. No matter how many times I play, I always forget that he does flips and shit. And down we go. And down we go. You know, I fucking love this game. I fucking love this game. This game is literature. It is literature in video game form. The symbolism, the metaphors, the fucking imagery, all, like, it's, there's so much. So that stupid horse of yours, it doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. And there's, there's so much that is, like, not up to interpretation, but, like, that has to be read into to really, like, dig into why it's so good. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> nah, boohoo, why the sad face? Just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. You really think you can beat me as I am now, fool? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Creepy. Super creepy and uncomfortable. Don't like this. Ugh. I mean, it, it, it already, you're already getting the vibe of the game immediately. Just constantly unsettling. Oh, we're, we're a Deku Scrub now, by the way. And now we're a Deku Scrub. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Welp. Uh, not, not if I have anything to say about it. No. Oh. Okay. Well, you're mean. You're a mean little fairy. S -s Sis! Oh. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. <laughs> you. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku Boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Baka. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be alright. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we've got a little spotlight here. The fuck? That's so creepy. Why are there, like, stars and shapes and shit? Wee. There's no reason to do that right now, but, you know. Hi there. Let's open the door. 
Waddle, 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 waddle. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, uh, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's, it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up C, and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. <laughs> what the fuck did I just walk into, man? I was just minding my own business. And now my horse is gone, my ocarina's gone, I'm a fucking Deku scrub, and I got this chirp chirp in my ear. Ugh. No tattle. Tattle, tattle, tattle. Best fairy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know how to die. I, I got all of it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, tattle. I just wanted to hear your voice. Your naggy, sundere voice. Tattle definitely has pigtails, right? We're all in agreement. <laughs> oh boy. Here goes. We're gonna not die. So far so good with the controller, I think. Except for the fact that I keep trying to use my right stick to move the camera. It's not gonna work, no matter how many times I try it. That's some muscle memory shit right there. All right, we got Deku nuts. We got nuts. You want nuts? We got nuts. All right, I think the right answer is to go back to this platform. And then we're going around this little thing here. And, oh, I think we made it. I think we make it. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Hey, you, come on. Press Z and talk to me. I'm not going to press Z. I'm going to press... Uh, L. ZL, specifically. What's up? There you go. See, you can do it if you try. Then I fly over to people or object. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Tal. I know. I, I know. I'm, a, I'm aware. Go over to this tree and check it out. All right. I will do that. Because you asked so nicely. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Wonder why I look like that tree. I don't know. Get get prepared for the fact that most things in this game aren't going to have an answer. Mm. An explicit answer. Although that one kind of does have an explicit answer. It's pretty, I mean, it's implicit, but it's like... Yeah. It's hard to miss. Um, here we go. We are in a weird little building. I don't know what this is. There's a door here, and, uh, oh. <clears throat> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you are so right, Tattle. You are so correct. So correct. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What, is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. What do you know about me? What do you know? Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. 
How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. It's a weird way to phrase it. Why are you phrasing it that way? But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well, then I am counting on you. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Well, I am thoroughly unsettled now. Oh, shit. And so it begins. And so it begins. We are here in Clock Town. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. <clears throat> but three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Talk about demanding, Tattle. That's right. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to go see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Interesting how you know about the Great Fairy, considering you were also teleported into this world the same time I was. What's that about, Tattle? Alright, well, first order of business. I just want to get all of these locations opened up. We've got West Clock Town. We were currently, or we were in South Clock Town. This is West Clock Town. We've got East and North and the Laundry Pool. So let's get those opened up. So yeah, this game is real interesting. Um, it's the sequel, the direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. It is basically in no way connected to Ocarina of Time in terms of actual story, other than the fact that... Um, you, uh, essentially, uh, it starts by Link looking for Navi, who left after, um, the end of Ocarina of Time. That's really it. That's basically the only connection. Um, but yeah, we're in a, it's basically an isekai. We, uh, we got brought into a parallel world here. We're gonna deposit some money in the bank. Let's deposit all our money. We're going to need to save up 5,000 bucks, and that's going to take a long-ass time. It's going to take all game to get that, so. Alright. we got to do as much as we can, as quick as we can. Um, yeah, so... Things are real weird here. Like, you you go into this expecting another Ocarina of Time. It is not. It is very much a uh, mindfuck of, like, just a psychological thriller, almost. It's just, it's so weird in a great, great way. And just, you could spend so much time just, like, figuring out following all these characters throughout their schedules over the three days and just like I don't know seeing all the different things they do and the characters are so layered and interesting and uh oh this seems bad why is there not a great fairy here oh no the great fairy Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay. I suppose I'll do that. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to show absolutely everything. I am, Like I said, I am going to 100% this game, but there's things you can do, like, by kind of veering off the beaten path in terms of side quests, like kind of forego doing a side quest halfway through and do something else instead and just see what happens. Um, I don't know how much of that I'm going to necessarily do, but 
I really want... I don't want to shortchange this game. I really want to thoroughly kind of... Like... Uh, you know... Showcase what it's all about. Alright, I think I just need a little bit more money. We can buy a map from Tingle. I would like to buy a map from Tingle because I'm 100%ing this game, and if I don't get all the maps, it's not 100%, right? Actually, I'm not going to 100% this game. On a technicality. Because I'm never going to get the regular bomb bag. I am going to jump straight to the big bomb bag. And I can imagine that purists might say, well, technically, that's not 100% then, is it? Because you didn't get all the things. And to that I say, I don't give a shit. <laughs> My name is Tingle. Yeah, yeah, you're, um... This is Tingle's big debut. Hi, Tingle. You want to sell me a map? I will buy a map. I will certainly buy a map. Let's buy the... Oh, it was five rupees. Okay. Let's buy the Clock Town map. Got a map of Clock Town. Excellent. Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Donut steal. Donut steal. Okay. Well, we have a we have a stray fairy to give back to the great fairy to restore the great fairy, and then she will be happy, and we will have saved the day. Here goes. Doot doot. Also, good news. Um, I think Fire Emblem Awakening is going to work. I think I have a good way to do it. And, uh, seems like I was testing it out yesterday, and it seems like it's probably going to be fine. Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Already, we're 20 minutes into this game, we're already getting magic. How cool is that? We got a magic meter. Mm-hmm. It granted magic power. My current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. All right, well, we can shoot snot out of our nose. Man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Well, I'll try. I will try my best. Waddle waddle. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Well, let's see. We have the power to shoot snot out of our nose and a little bubble balls. Um, what can we do with that? Can we maybe pop balloons with that? Uh, maybe. Wow. Popped a balloon. Hey, kid. What's up? Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Sure. All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Okay, well. <laughs> One he is a little slow. All right. There he is. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here, motherfucker. Back here. Corner him. Got him. Got him. Alright, that's two. That's fucking two. You don't count. Hey, kid. This one can be a bit annoying. 
you corner him, it's great, but sometimes he goes, yeah, down into there. It's like, well, I can't get you without leaving the area, so. Don't go down that way. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay. Just sitting on the stairs. All right, well. We got a Goron over there. Look that little Goron going into the going into the inn. Hmm. Just things you can observe about the town and the goings on. Such a cool concept for a game. I really like it. Where like you're here in this world. Basically, Link is like the least important character in the entire game. Um which is not true, but it, like, theoretically it kind of is. Um, like, all the stuff, n Link doesn't matter to the story, really. It's all the stuff going on in the story that Link mostly just kind of observes and then helps with. If only you were human, then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Uh, what a what a line. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry. That's racist. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. In other words, write it the fuck down. What is the code? It is three. Oh, that's perfect. Three, four, five, one, two. I love it when it's something like that. All right. Three, four, five, one, two. Thank you, Bomber Kids. You guys are the bees' knees. Alright. Well, let's go uh, deliver the code. Hello, child. If you want to pass through here, you'll have to say the secret code. Well, it is three, three, four, five, one, two. That's right. I sure am a member. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Uh, oh yeah, and um, the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever. Sure. Sure thing, kid. Alright. Let's get to the observatory. Do do do. Hey, buddy. What's up? Big Skulltula. What? You don't even know about the Skulltula? It's protected by a hard shell, but its stomach is soft. Thank you, Tattle. I'm so glad that you're yelling at me already. <laughs> Fucking love Tattle, man. She's, she's the best. What a great character. Chirp, chirp. Alright. Up we go. Going up the ladder and going down the ladder and we're going up the ladder and we're going down the ladder. Hello! We are here in the place. And that's a scarecrow. And that's some money. I'm gonna need a lot of money. Certainly gonna need money. Most expensive heart piece I've ever seen. Although, I think there might be a more expensive one in Wind Waker. Hello! Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers, gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? I sure will. Let's go take a look at him. There he is. What else is around? Is there other things to see? There's a dude. What in the fuck are you doing, dude? Are there other things to see? Other weird secrets that people are... What the fuck are you doing out there, dude? Who are you? There's money in that tree.
there are other weird dudes doing stuff? I don't know. There's a bird. Alright, anyway. What's up? What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, buddy. What you looking at? Oh. There's a big fucking moon thing that looks like it's, uh... Floating over the town. I don't like that. That seems ungood. Don't shake your ass at me. What an asshole. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got it on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Well, guess we know how to get there now. Don't we? I got me a moon's tear. Alright, so the most important question now is can I do the glitch in this game? In the, uh, I'm assuming I probably can. In, in the N64 version, there's a cool little glitch where you can get outside of Clocktown, even on the, uh, the first three-day cycle. Which you're not supposed to be able to do. Uh, but you can glitch through it. And it very much helps you get, uh, a good amount of money very quickly also passes the time very efficiently. Um, I'm going to try to do it. I've, obviously, I haven't played the uh, Nintendo Switch Online version of Majora's Mask. But I would imagine it probably works. All right. I mean, so far this game's played exactly the same as the usual one. And I found that Ocarina of Time seemed to have all the same little tidbits in it, so I'm hopeful. Let's get this uh, done. What's was this? Indigo Goes, the Zora Band that's revived the deep sea sound with its famous song will be playing at the Carnival of Time. So, because I'm not going to spend the time to go around the entire town and, like, piece together everything that's happening. I'm just going to tell you, there's a carnival happening in three days, and there's also a moon hanging over the town that's supposedly going to crash in three days. And some people in town don't believe it's going to crash, and other people do believe it's going to crash. And there's a whole big fight about whether or not people are overreacting about the big disaster. And playing this game post-2020 uh, is very different. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included. Alright, well, uh, let's press the start button. And let's do... Uh, that? There we go. Do I have one? Alright, so the X button doesn't work. The Y button works. Interesting. We got the land title deed. Alright. Got the land title deed. Now, I think, I'm curious, actually, I don't think I've ever tried doing this on the first three-day cycle. I don't, actually, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, because I don't have the bomber's notebook yet, so I'm not going to do it. All right, so here we're going to do it. We're just going to go over here, and we're going to get this heart piece, and we are done. We are done until midnight of the third day. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. That's midnight on day three. So, we've got some time to kill now. <laughs> we've got some time to kill. Got nothing but time on my hands. Got nothing but... Got nothing but... Alright. I'm going to deposit more money. And then we're going to see if this glitch works. Let's see if the glitch works. Here goes. 33 bucks. 
We got almost almost 100. We got 94 bucks. All right, so we need to get 200 at the start. That's the plan. Good thing is we can skip time with the scarecrow. But we have to the bad part the, the bad thing is we have to go all the way back to the scarecrow to do that. <laughs> Which not my favorite thing, but it's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if this glitch works. So here's how the glitch is supposed to be done. So normally you go through here, you can't go through because this guy's being an asshole. And he says, hello, uh, wait a moment, Deku Scrub, have you got some errand in the canyon? It is dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone until you are old enough to carry a weapon. Okay, well, uh, but here's the thing. So what I can do is I can stand here, and I can do this, and I can do this. And this only works in East Clocktown. You want to make sure that you are basically directly kind of, yeah, like this. And we're going to hold down the Z button, in this case the uh, ZL button. And then we're just going to go back, 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 and it still works. Ho, oh. ho. All right. So, the thing is, oops, that's that's wrong. Um, the th <laughs> tried to move the camera again. The thing is, you're not supposed to be here, so it, like, hasn't really loaded yet. It's, like, kind of half loaded. There's no enemies out here. There's no music out here. It's just kind of in this weird limbo state. But you can come out here, and you can uh, get money. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go out here and get money. You can, I think, go all the way down to the Southern Swamp. I'm not even sure, like, how much of the game you can break by doing this. I don't actually try to break the game by doing this. I just do this to kill time because I have nothing else to do because I've done all the things. Um, and uh, we just uh, we just grind out money until we get the 200 that we need to get the uh, adult wallet. And then we can get more money if we really want to. Um, the thing about this game that's going to be interesting, uh, between, like, a live stream versus, uh, recorded Let's Play, is that I can't edit stuff out, and this is one of those games that you kind of want to edit some stuff out, <laughs> you know, where you're just kind of standing around waiting for time to pass. Um, I can't edit that out here, so, you know, meh. <laughs> I don't think there's too many instances where that's going to be something noteworthy, but... There will certainly be times where I just do have to stand somewhere and wait for a certain time. Uh, and maybe I'll just, like, I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is during that time, I will Google, like, weird Majora's Mask theories. And I will just read those. Maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do. We'll read weird Majora's Mask theories as we wait for time to pass. So, we've got 60 bucks. Now, there was a dude in that grass over there from, that we saw in the telescope, but I don't think he's actually rendered out here. So, we can't actually see him. He's not here. Oh, well. Not gonna lie, I actually don't ever remember that guy being there before. <laughs> I must not have ever looked over there. All right, we are maxed out on money. So we're very close to having 200 rupees total. Now, ultimately, we're going to need to get 5,000. There's a heart piece that you get for getting 5,000 uh, rupees in the bank, which is going to take most of the game to get to that point. But we'll try. I'll try to be as proactive as possible to deposit money. What I would prefer not to have to do is, like, um, have to grind for money. There are efficient ways to do it. You can kill Dodongos. There's some Dodongos that, you, that spawn that you can kill for a good amount of money each. Uh, it's, not, it's not great money. It's decent. It's always adequate money. But it's kind of the, one of the few, there's a few hundred rupee treasure chests you can get, but even still, like, that's just, that's, that's once a three day cycle, and like, it's, it's hard to, like, make that efficient. I don't know. But we're gonna do it, because it's a 100% run. 
And we're gonna do it. And back out I go. <laughs> back out I go. We're gonna get... I know I only need, like, 7 rupees, but I'm gonna get up to 99 again. Because, number one, just what else am I doing? <laughs> what else am I gonna do? We got time to kill. We got so much time to kill. For a game where people are, like, always stressing out about running out of time, there's always way too much time. You don't need all three days for anything. And uh, we're not, what we're not going to do in this playthrough is we are not going to talk about, um, like, the discourse of, like, well, you know, the thing I hate about this game is the time limits. Like, that's the whole point of the game, though. This game would be great if it didn't have a time limit. If it didn't have a time limit, the game wouldn't make any fucking sense. But we're not going to do that, because the, there's no need to. Some people don't like the game, that's totally fine. Um, I'm not going to, like, try to argue with a hypothetical person who doesn't like the game. Um, the game is what it is. And the thing is, like, when it first came out, people, myself included, were very... I, I, not disappointed. I wouldn't say disappointed. That wasn't That wasn't the vibe. The vibe was just very, like... Huh. I, this is not what I expected. And it's very d weird and different. And I don't dislike it, but it it's... I was expecting Ocarina of Time too, and this is just... Not. Um... <laughs> and I think the general consensus over the years has been that this game is actually really fucking amazing. And I think it, where that was a less common opinion in the past, it is very much not so anymore. Um, to the point where the pendulum has kind of swung in the opposite direction. Oh, it's now it's overrated. It's like, you, <laughs> where were you in 2001? <clears throat> it's like the people who say that Wind Waker is overrated. It's like, you, ha you don't know. You don't even know. Guys, you were not around for the discourse in 2002 when Wind Waker came out. Then you were not around for that discourse. <laughs> there was there was discourse. But the fact that Wind Waker is redeemed is is truly deeply satisfying because I am very much of the belief that cartoony graphics are better than realistic graphics, and Wind Waker is the fucking proof. And uh, the fact that that seems to have been kind of confirmed in the eyes of people these days, you know, not confirmed, affirmed, that's the word, which makes me happy. All right, I think I've done all of the... All of the grass patches right now. Most of, like, half of them haven't even, like, um, what do you call it? Loaded in. Rendered. Rendered in, that's the word. I can think of words, man. I'm, I, this whole shtick is about just talking, right? <laughs> I talk good. It's fine. All right. 99 more rupees. Give me the adult wallet. Give me the adult wallet. This is probably the only glitch I'm going to exploit for the entirety of the game. I think. Probably. Unless I royally fuck up a side quest later. In which case there is a glitch to unroyally unfuck it up. Um, but apart from that, I think we're probably going to play this pretty clean. 99 more bucks. What are we looking at now? 292. We are nowhere close to the 5,000, but I will get the bigger wallet. So I can hold up to 200 bucks, which is fantastic. I don't really have any reason. I could go out and grind more money. I'm not going to do that, though, because that would just be a time waster. Um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to the Scarecrow, and we are going to dance the night away. Just like Van Halen. And, uh... No, I didn't want to talk to you. I don't. I don't want to talk. To, I don't want to talk to you. I want to into this box. Thank you. There wasn't even money in it. There wasn't even money in the box. 
<sighs> well. Well. Alright. So yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening seems to be working. It does have some chug to it. I don't like that. Uh, the music, which is weird because, like, the voices are totally fine, but some of the music has a little bit of, like, choppiness to it. It's subtle, but I, I heard it. It was, it had a little bit of chug, and some of the battle animations stutter a bit. So I'm like, ah, I want to try to fix that. I don't know if it's possible to fix that. I don't know if that just might be how it runs on the emulator. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm gonna see, play around with that a little bit, but I, other than that, I think it will be fine to stream. Yo, hey baby, I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget about time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Absolutely. Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time, let's dance. I'm gonna get copyright claimed for that, aren't I? I totally am. That's why I'm going to talk over any anytime Surya's song, Saria's song, whatever you want to call it, uh, plays on the in the game. It it always gets copyright claimed. Always. So we have to talk over it. Yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Yep. Oh shit! I keep. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? I sure do. Yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. I don't have an instrument, my dude. Uh, let's dance until night. Keep wanting to use the control pad. <laughs> Because, like, I always like to use the control pad in menus and stuff, and then the control stick just to move my character. And that, it just doesn't work here. And I gotta keep talking, because Saria's song is going to get me copyright claimed again! Hello! We have, uh, okay, we're good. Night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, how was it? Went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. Yeah, <laughs> but outside it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Bye! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I don't need it. See you, bye. He's evacuating. Alright, so we uh, only have six hours, in-game hours, until the Carnival of Time happens, and so we are going to go up to the clock tower so that we can go uh, see the Skull Kid, who's up there. We know he's up there because we saw he was up there. We now know how to get up there to go f fuck with him and get my ocarina back. And also get that mask, right? We're totally going to get the mask from him because that's what the happy mask salesman wants us to do. And we're not going to forget to do that because we made a promise. The moon's getting big. Moon's getting real big. Oh, that thing's getting real close. I have a feeling it's going to... Um, hmm. Might crash. What do you have to say? Hey, Deku Kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all we get for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get to the clock tower entrance. Apologize for all this. I wish I could scare that moon away. That's a weird thing for you to say. That seems to not be what your normal vibe is. Talk to him without the Deku mask on, and maybe things will go differently. All right, but now we wait. So let's do a Google because this is this is going to be the thing we do now. We're going to do a Google. This is going to be Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. Uh, factoids. <laughs> Facts. Here we go. Uh, let's let's do theories. Let's talk about theories. Majora's Mask Theories. Here we go. Ten best Majora's Mask Theories. Here we go. Here's, here's some fun stuff to pass the time while we wait. Number ten. The Happy Mask Salesman is Shigeru Miyamoto. 
Okay. Um, let's let's see uh, let's see some others. Um, some ones that aren't uh, spoilers. How about that? The masks are death masks. Hmm. Craft likenesses of the deceased to help the god Anubis guide the spirit to the realm of the dead. Interesting. The death masks. Yeah. Hmm. Here's an interesting one. How about story? This is this has to be confirmed, right? The story represents the five stages of grief. Where Clocktown is denial, because the people deny that there's anything actually happening in terms of the uh, moon crashing. Southern Swamp is anger. The mountain is uh, bargaining. The Great Bay is depression. And Icona Canyon is acceptance. That is a, that is a very classic theory. It, it's, it's correct. I mean, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but it's 100% correct. It is so incredibly easy to interpret it, all of the regions that way. <clears throat> all right, well, we can go up now. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there. I'm going, Tattle. Chirp, chirp. I've got this chirping in my ear that will not stop. this ah tail we've been looking for you too hey skull kid what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now hey come on are you, li are you listening <clears throat> swamp mountain ocean canyon hurry the four who are there bring them here oh don't speak out of line stupid fairy no what are you doing to my brother skull kid you think you're still our friend after that well whatever even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. He scream. I don't like this. This is very unsettling. Oh boy. Well, we got five minutes. Uh, let's shoot him with my bubbles. What's that gonna do? Yeah. Welp. Drop the ocarina. Well, we need that, so let's go grab that. There it is. Got the ocarina of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A, the four C buttons to play it. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. I remember Zelda. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I'm praying. I'm praying that your journey be a safe one. Something should happen to you. Remember this song. Weird that that's the song that reminds her of them and not Zelda's lullaby. Well, I guess it makes more sense. that This, this one does make more sense, actually. Yeah. Okay. Forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. We just learned the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Aha. Uh -huh. Goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. The goddess of time, huh? Will come to my aid if I play that song. <laughs> Smack. 
<laughs> Snap out of it. What are you doing, Lost in Memories? Get yourself together. I think that old ocarina bag isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, goddess of time, help us, please. We need more time. What are we going to do to have the goddess of time help us? Welp. Huh, when did you get that instrument? Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Abs of fucking lootly. Here we go. And so begins another cycle. And on it goes. Oh god. Oh god. Dawn of the first day. Back to where it started. What just happened? Everything is... Started over. What are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument... That instrument? Wait, that's it! Your instrument! The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Okay. Hey, man. Guess what? The funny thing is, like, he just saw me walk out the door, and now I just walk back in, and I have the ocarina. Right? Like... And he's totally unfazed by that. Like, I didn't just fucking time travel. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Where the fuck did you get that organ from? Then listen to me. Please play this song that I am about to perform, and remember it well. What an unsettling song. It's so good because it's so off key and just like, it's just, it's weird and it's creepy and it's supposed to be the song of healing. And it's just like, I don't know, man, it's so hard to put into words why that's so cool. We go. Yep. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Got the Deku mask. It's gonna make puzzle solving very interesting in this game, innit? <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please give me that which you promised me. <clears throat> well, don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? Oh my god. 
What have you done to me? You leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. The Ancient Ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mask in shadow forever, pretend preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. Yeah, that's the vibe of the whole game, my dude. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I am begging you, I am begging you, you must do it! Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Okay, well, I am just unsettled af. <laughs> All right, well, now what? <laughs> that mask, the Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Okay, but we're not anywhere close to that right now, Tattle. Let me tell you. We have so much more to do. <laughs> there are so many things we can do right now. Uh, the first thing is one of my least favorite things in the entire game, so we're going to try to get that out of the way. This is the Deku Playground Heart Piece. Which kind of rips my soul apart every time I try to do it. And I love this game so very, very much. It is my favorite game of all time. And um, I still rage <laughs> at the Deku Playground. It's kind of awful. All right, let's get ourselves some money. Oh, we also have to slow down time. We definitely have to slow down time because we're gonna need uh, time to be slowed down. There we go. We're gonna slow time down nice and slow. Nice and slow. There's a lot of things we can do on this uh, three day cycle. Got a lot of things that we can potentially do. And I want to try to do as many of them as I can. Uh, first order of business is we're going to talk to you. Now, people do think that you need to do the bomber's hide-and-seek again. You do not. All you have to do is tell this guy the code. So if we say 34512, we know the code. He steps aside. We go on in through here. And then we come back out. We don't have to do the hide and seek again. Because Jim is going to just be like, wait a second, how the fuck did you figure out this code? You haven't passed my test. <laughs> Nobody but bombers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. What's your name, guy? Link, huh? All right. The Skull Kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Link a new member of the Bombers instead. 
is the bomber's notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Hell yeah. This is the side quest guide, although kind of not. Alright, I don't care about this stuff. Basically, if you do the side quests, you'll fill out the notebook. Doesn't contain all the side quests, though, so it's only a handful of them. Alright, anyway. We are going to try. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. It's gonna make me angry. We're gonna do the Deku Playground heart piece. Oof. The first day isn't bad. It's the second day that sucks ass. Fuck. That do that doesn't bode well. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. Oh my god. This is gonna be a mess. Alright, we're going here. Alright, so we can get this, this tree heart piece. Nice and easy. I made it look harder than it is. Alright, here goes. I have to be a scrub. Oh, yeah. E for everyone. Rated E for everyone. There is no way a nine-year-old Gid should be playing this fucking game. <laughs> Christ. All right, here we go. Hey, man. So the thing about this is you have to remember these are carnival games. So, like, they're kind of rigged on purpose, which is cool in concept, but in practice, fucking sucks. How about it? Will the young one play? Yes. It's the time it takes to get all the rupees is faster than the current record. You get an extravagant prize. If you fall down below just once, it's over. All right, minute 15. Got to get all the rupees. Now, these platforms are just going up and down, which makes them significantly less challenging to deal with than in day two and three when they are moving sideways. So here we can just kind of go when it's like at the top and then just kind of go diagonal and bop bop. It's fairly easy, really hard to fuck this up on day one. Day two, on the other hand, makes me want to tear my hair out. That could have been a little bit cleaner, but I think we'll be fine. All right, what else do we need? We still have plenty of time. We're going to go back to the middle. Oh, shit. Ugh. Uh, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys so much. Fuck you guys. I hate you guys. You're the worst. You guys fucking suck. You guys fucking suck. Oh, my God. This is going to be painful. So, I think what I want to do is actually try this, maybe. This might be a bit more efficient. Not that it really matters that much. Ugh. Dude. <laughs> I swear. Up we go. We land here. This is actually made a lot easier on the um, 3DS remake. And while I don't have very many good things to say about the 3DS remake, uh, this is significantly easier. Not totally sure why. I think it's because of, like, the gyro controls or whatever. Alright, so we get 50 rupees. We have to win every day of the cycle in order to get the heart piece. Day one is fine. Day two fucking sucks. Day three is less hard than day two, but still fucking sucks. Um, Alright, what else can we do? What else can we do? We can 
uh, heal up the Great Fairy again because we got our form back, right? And uh, she said to come back when we had our form. Right? She's broken again. She's broken again. Why is she broken again? Because we rewound time and undid all the things we did. That's why. So that's how it goes. Well, okay. So let's go... Let's go ah, fuck. <laughs> uh, still. Still trying. Still trying to move the camera with the stick. It's not going to work. It's never going to work. Alright, so, first order of business. Grab ourselves a stray fairy. And we get whatever prize the great fairy wanted to give us. There are plenty of other things we're going to be able to do. We have so many things we can do. So, so many. Um, this is going to get us a mask. And there's like a handful of heart pieces we can we can nab over the course of this current three-day cycle. We're not going to the Southern Swamp until the next three-day cycle. Because there's just so many things we can do. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness, a token of my gratitude. Mm-hmm. O oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. Yay, we can look like the great fairy. Alright, so this is the key to figuring out where the stray fairies are. Or at least, well, it's, you know the best you're going to get. <laughs> Some of these stray fairies are absolute dicks. But it's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. All right. So one thing I want to do is I do want to go back to the Astral Observatory and get another Moon's Tear. I'm going to scoop that. Get that nice and scooped. We are going to nice and scoop a moon's tear. And then... I don't care about you, buddy. You're not even worth my time, Mr. Skultula. Not even worth my time. Pop the balloon. Give me some more money. Most of this money is going to go into the bank. Trying our hardest here, but I am gonna keep I gotta keep a bunch of it because of all the times I'm gonna fail the Deku playground. <laughs> oh don't we know. Don't we know? We know. Excuse. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Hey buddy, I would like to look through the telescope. Let's look through the telescope. So you're going to say all the same things again, and blah, 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 and I will gaze into the telescope. I will muchly gaze into the telescope. We will look at you again. We will get ourselves another moon's tear. There it is. You're going to shake your ass and jump away. Great. 
Well, did you find that troublemaker? That loud noise, what was that? Perhaps the moon's tear. Perhaps. Perhaps. Got item. All right. So now we head down, and uh, now what? What are we gonna do now? It is ten o'clock, which means the mayor's residence is open. So we can go ahead and check out the mayor's residence and see what all is going on over there. What all is going on at the mayor's residence? Okay. Let's take a look. What do we see? We see this guy. I am of the Gorman Troop. I have made an appointment to meet with Madame today. Oh, really? That should be fine if you just go in. All right. Well, let's go in and see what's going on here with uh, Madame. What is going on? You. Are the fins damp lately? That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, manager of the band, the Indiegogos. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indiegogos is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of, they put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is the Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Oh, you don't, really? Even one that famous? Hmm. Be able to hear it if, it was, if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. Canceling the show isn't something I want to do at all. It was the first performance at the carnival for the Indiegogos in a while, so I'm sorry for the fans, but with the diva the way she is right now, the show would be... <sighs> Lately, only bad things have been happening at Zora Hall. Interesting. Oh dear, are you on a field trip, or are you the expert person finder that I hired? Yes, 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 I say. You have the face of a pro. Characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them person I want you to locate that is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't, really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried I can't get food down my throat and I've lost five pounds. Haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? I certainly could. My, Oh, my, of course. You are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. And we got ourselves a Cafe's mask. Wear this to inquire about the missing Cafe. Well, we're not doing that anytime soon. All right, Gorman, what do you have to say for yourself? We can actually, um, unslow time at this point. No, no. There we go. <laughs> I very much do not want to return to dawn of the first day. All right. Tick-tocking of the clock is returning to normal. Ah, bother, bother, I'm busy. All right, and you're busy. But you're coming in here. What are you coming in here for? I want to hear the conversation. I want to eavesdrop like a nosy Nancy. Madame Aroma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh, dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do... Ah, uh, yes. They've cancelled just now. What's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me, I am to work... I am to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zora Band, the Indiegogos. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva in the Indiegogos, has lost her voice. Why? Why? Details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this means the Gorman Troop's j job is... 
It's off. But that's... That's all, Gorman. There's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Hmm. How am I gonna pay my people? How am I going to show that I'm successful as a showman? How am I going to prove to my brothers that leaving the ranch wasn't a mistake? What? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to all this shit. Now, you need to turn around and walk out, please. Because I would like to talk to you now in this situation. I'm angry now. Don't speak to me. They must be joking. Now what am I to do? This game is fucking literature. I'm telling you. Also, you ready? You ready for some hardcore COVID denialism? <laughs> Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. You know. <clears throat> <laughs> Mr. Mayor and the carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Um, well... You cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. It was probably China. What? Soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. It's a hoax. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Um, well... Are you serious, Muto? Seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. You know, the essential workers. <laughs> the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vison. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotour? Let's not bring my wife into this. Huh? All must take refuge. On with the carnival. Hmm. No comment. a little too on the nose. Alright, so if we go up here, we can actually see... Hello. Oh, how well that won't work. No, that's too basic. I have some bad news for you guys. <laughs> oh, this isn't... That's not what I, I want to go in this room. It's this room. It's this one. This is the one. Judo's very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins. Do do do. Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance for the town's carnival. Do da da. Even though the song is finished. The story of Gorman. One of my favorite characters from the game. We'll get more into it. We will get more into it. Leading a troop of performers. Alright, so. We're gonna get ourselves a piece of paper. Let's get ourselves a piece of paper. Yeah, you again. What's up, buddy? I know, I know, I know. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a moon steer. Here you go. Take that to your wife. I'll take this piece of paper. Good stuff. All right, so I need to think now. What is there to do now? There is the swordsman school that we can do. We can do the swordsman school. That should get us another heart piece. 
Oh, we're getting heart pieces. We're going to have like six hearts before we go into the first temple. All right. I would like to deposit some money. Let's deposit 65. Let's do 65. Keep the 100 for now. Swordsman School is right here. Enter all disciples and those who choose to be enlightened with the way of the sword. Mighty Training Center. Okay. This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? I will try the expert course. Expert course is a practice session. Cut down 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. You score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. Have you prepared? I sure have. Let's fucking go. We got a jump attack. We got a jump attack. Alright. And we got a jump attack. Almost there. Nailed it. Impressive, I must give you something. Here. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Oops. I want to bang the gong. I want to bang the gong. <laughs> now until the end of the blah blah blah. Will you try it? I will not. How about if I become this guy? It's a training center for learning the sacred. There's no place for children. Okay. What happens if I come up here? Can I get up here? I can't get up here because you're standing there. Okay. Okay, we'll talk to you again sometime eventually, maybe. Um, huh. Well. Now what? Now what do we do? We've got a piece of paper. We've got, uh, hmm. I can think of something we can try. Getting a bit ahead of myself, but we could try it. Since we got time and all. I mean, we can fast forward time, which is great, but let's see. Let's see. It's with three hearts, this might be bad. <laughs> This might not be ideal with uh, only three hearts. We can try to get another heart piece. Let's give it a shot. We'll practice with this guy first. Hey, buddy. Yikes. Ow, that's okay. I need to remember what button my shield is. That's not going to be great. <laughs> as long as we get the shield up in time, we should be fine. Yikes. Yikes. There we go. We have 50. All right, well, we could try to get a heart piece here, but it's actually almost night of the first day, so I kind of want to back off. Because there are things we can do once it becomes nighttime that I would like to uh, actually do. I don't want to um, miss out on certain things. Right. Need a heart. Great fairy, would you mind? Would you mind healing me? When battle has made me weary. Battle has, in fact, made me weary. Let's 
Oh god. <laughs> Don't wah ha 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 at me like that. It's very unsettling. Thank you, Great Fairy. Appreciated. Okay. So it's basically night of the first day. Not quite there yet. Alright, so now we can go to the laundry pool. I am actually going to make it slow time again. So first thing we're going to do is go into the laundry pool. We are going to snag ourselves another mask. Hello, my dude. La la la, they said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Ah, now I'm sad. I'll, I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Oh yes, I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the why was the why was the dog the leader? Was it cause something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what the animals what animals he had to work with. That's why that's why that's why I stole it, the dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because I was it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. A weird dude. A weird fucking dude. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly, and they became adults in an instant. Did they? Is that what they did? Well, okay. If you say so. Alright, so, now what we can do. We have time to do... Um, because it is early in the night, we don't have to do anything until about midnight. Um, one thing, one thing I would like to do actually first. Again, I said I'm not gonna do a whole lot of this, but I do kind of want to do some of it. I want to kind of go around and see what people are up to at certain times of the day. What's going on in here now that it's like nighttime? Hey guys, did you meet the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers from the troupe? They're twins too. They're twins just like us, can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clocktown right now. There are two sets of twins traveling in Gorman's troupe of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a million. No, wait, make that four in a million. Ho 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 ho. Okay, well. <laughs> Welp. So, Gorman's Troop is here to play, for the, to, to perform, I should say, for the, the carnival. And because something weird is going down with the Indiegogos, it's canceled, and now Gorman is out of a job. And he has to figure out how to break the news to his uh, troop that, guess what, you're not getting fucking paid. It's a heavy topic. It's a heavy topic. What did he promise them that he now can't deliver on? Let's see what he has to say for himself. What are you staring at? Sounds like your show has been canceled. You don't really need to be here anymore. Came to drink. I, I'm a customer. 
Well, then, customer, the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. Please wait till then. And besides that, this bar is for members only. Those without proof of membership will be refused entry. Well, then I don't need milk. I mean alcohol. I mean milk. I just want to sit and think for a while. Just give me a place to do that. Fine. Be my guest. Oh, what am I going to say to the troop members? Heavy shit, man. Bar opens at night, sir, and it's members only. Okay. This place seems very persnickety. I don't know if I want to uh, imbibe at your establishment. My dude. Who the fuck are you? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Okay, well, as long as you're not doing anything suspicious. I'm gonna go see if I can kill some Dodongos. We got a few hours to kill. And I have it on slow time. We should be fine. I'm more concerned about whether or not I have enough hearts for this. All right, here goes. Good thing is the shield blocks most of the aggro, so we should be fine. My only real concern is this other Dodongo getting in the way. As long as that doesn't happen, we should be okay. There we go. Good shit. Oh, this 50's gonna go to waste, and I actually, like, there's a part of me that's like, I should not do this if I'm gonna waste this 50, because, <laughs> you know. But, whatever. Should have made sure I had room for 100 rupees. Do we really need to min-max that much? No. <laughs> Is that going to stop me from, like, obsessing over it? Also, no. Alright, that should be another heart container. Nice old heart container. Gimme, gimme. Swell. We have four hearts already. Look at that. I definitely want to deposit some money. Do not throw snowballs at me. That's rude. That is so rude. It's beyond rude. So, deposit some money, and then we will unslow time, and at midnight, around midnight, some time around midnight, hi guys, don't bother us, okay fine, what do you have to say? Yeah, nothing important. All right. Nobody's got nothing important to say. What do you say in here? Are you just gonna... You're just gonna... All right. What happens if I do the novice course? Do you say anything interesting? Unarmed combat. I'll start with sideways jumps. Yeah, this is, this is the easy shit. Yep. Next is the roll attack. Okay. Backflip. Horizontal cut. Wrong. <laughs> Do not Z-target. Well, it already had me Z-targeting. Vertical cut. Now we Z-target. Next is the thrust. 
That was a jump attack. Wrong. <laughs> Think what? Put out my shield first, right? There we go. Finally, the jump attack. There we go. Don't you say other things? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe under other circumstances he does. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Hello, what is this? You need something? Deposit rupees. I'm going to give you... 99 is what I'm going to give you. Let's give you 99 rupees. Alright, how much are we up to now? 456. We got a long way to go. We are like almost a tenth of the way there. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're gonna unslow time now, and we want to wait a little bit for like around midnight ish. Not sure if there's anything I can do in the meantime while we wait, so we can potentially talk about Majora's Mask theories. Did you know Yeah, I think I definitely think the uh, stages of grief theory is 100% correct. Um, because like the whole deal with this place is that the moon is going to crash. Like you can clearly see the moon's going to fucking crash. It's get it gets closer every every 12 hour cycle it gets closer. Um but like and the carpenters, whose job it is to, like, build the stuff in preparation for the carnival, they're like, you know, it's not, it's, it's, we, you know, we need the money. We're going to work. We're going to keep the carnival going. All these people are here. It's a big, it's, it's like the thing that keeps our town from going bankrupt. You know, we get a whole lot of money in. So we're obviously going to keep the carnival going because we're not going to cancel it it's tradition we never cancel the carnival we don't cancel the carnival we have the carnival every year at this time it's like a prayer to the gods or whatever and uh we're we're not going to cancel it because you guys you town guardians are afraid that the moon is gonna fall you're telling me the moon is gonna fall that's what you're saying you're saying the moon is going to fall and crash and kill us Okay. Bullshit. Shut the fuck up. We're having our carnival. Um, and then the town guards are like, um, fucking look. It keeps getting closer. <laughs> it's gonna fall. And, you know, for the safety of all the people, maybe we should order an evacuation. And uh, then we have the carpenter people who are like, uh, you can't do that because my freedoms. And we're not doing any lockdowns or shelter in place or any of that stuff because it's not real. And then me replaying this game in 2020 was like, oh. You know, originally, back when I was a kid, I thought it was kind of crazy that people would just be like, obviously it's not going to fall when it's very obviously going to fall. And we're very clearly in a crisis situation, but, like, there are people who are determined to deny that it's a crisis situation. And then I grew up, and we had 2020, and I was like, oh, okay, this is actually exactly how it's going to go. Cool. And we got a little old lady. With a little old bag. Here we go. And, yep. Yoink. There's a thief. Well, guess what? I am a secret society of justice. I love how the secret society of justice member here is just standing around watching an old lady get robbed. <laughs> hey, dude. Do you even know what your own society is about? Way to be there. 
Way to fucking be there. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stop bon stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. That's incredibly dangerous. Why would you give me this? All right. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the inn because I believe there is something we can do here at the inn, but we actually have to kind of sneak our way in. Uh, also, I'm going to make it slow time again. So I'm going to do something after we do the inn. Now, I think it's possible that we could have done this in the first three-day cycle, but because we didn't have the bomber's notebook, we won't, I don't think we would get the entry for it, and I don't know... I don't know how that would work. I assume we'd have to do it again to get the entry. And you don't need the entry, but... 100%, you kind of need the bomber's notebook to be done, right? It's like, it's one of those things. Like, yeah, I did the thing, but it's not in the notebook, so... Or that, or maybe it just doesn't even show up. I'm not sure if it even shows up on the first three-day cycle. I think it might. Hi, hand in the toilet. What's up? P -p -p paper, please. How about this? Is this good paper? Sure sounds like it. Oh, you saved me. Somehow. Also, why does the bathroom not have a door? It's fell down here. I'll give it to you. So people walking by, I'll just see you taking a shit. There we go. That is uh, something we never need to talk about again, as it stands. <laughs> All right. Next order of business. We're going back up to North Clock Town and out into Termina Field. And we are going to go snag ourselves another mask. Yeah, there's a lot of shit you can do before the first dungeon, isn't there? There's a lot of shit you can do before you even leave Clock Town, for Christ's sake, to go into the first area. We're spending a whole cycle here, man. You're not even doing the fucking Woodfall Temple tonight. It's not even on my radar. What the fuck is this guy? What are you doing, my dude? Hello. Hmm. Can I get to you with just a regular old jump? Yeah, there we go. Hey, buddy. I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Translation, I am disappointed, O oh Moon, I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. Hmm. I'm no longer... Okay, well, he's filled with regret, so maybe we should heal him. Can we heal him? Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. I don't want to. <laughs> Use it to teach his dance to the world. Hmm. I wonder. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. I wonder if there are any people that we know of that seem to be having trouble figuring out a dance. I don't know. Might there be? This is the fastest way to get around at the moment, so we're gonna spam... We're gonna spam the attack button. It might be annoying, but it's not as annoying as Link rolling. Alright. West Clock Town, here we go. I think this is everything we can do on the first night. Don't bother us. What if I put this mask on and dance for you guys? <laughs> hmm. 
What a dance. <laughs> Somebody filming this? This is make a good TikTok. This guy's watching. I'm like, what the fuck are these guys doing? <laughs> Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are our master. All the hearts of the dancers. Master, you're so cool. I think they like me now. Master, please come to our performance. <laughs> Don't bother us. <laughs> oh my god. Got some news about your performance that you might not want to hear. Probably don't want to hear the news about your performance, but it's kind of, kind of might be a little bit maybe canceled, maybe, might be a little canceled. I think they may have canceled the performance, and maybe Gorman hasn't told you yet because he's not really sure how to tell you, and he's in the milk bar drinking his, uh, his night away. Hmm. Let me let me let me let you in on a little secret. It's not actually it's not actually milk. You don't actually it's not actually milk. It's alcohol, guys. <laughs> but it's E for everyone, so they have to make it milk. All right, we're gonna make it dawn of the second day, and I'm going to tear my hair out. Let's 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 just get it over with. Let's just fucking do it. Ugh. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a lot. Uh, just, I don't, I don't want to do this. I hate this so much. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I'm gonna. Let me. Um. Can we suspend? Because I actually can create save states, which is pretty cool. Like this is a game that really likes to have save states because of what the saving situation in this game is. Is anyway. Um. So I appreciate the save states. It kind of has its own inbuilt save states. But you have to stop playing in order to use them. <sighs> I don't want to do it. 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 All right. We, let me survey the landscape first before we... Okay. We have the outermost one is going around that way. Okay. So I want to do it from this side. Try setting a new record again today, young Link. All right, what's the record? Minute 15. All right, I gotta try to remember what my usual plan for this is. So I wanna try to nab this as it's coming around. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. <laughs> it's fucking starting. I hate it so much. It's the fucking worst. Alright. Where do I go from here? Huh. Alright. Now we go to the middle. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Okay, fuck this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. We don't go to the middle, we go to this one on the uh, sort of outside. Okay, now I think we do the one on the total outside with the blue. Yeah. That's the play. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna be here for the rest of the stream. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. We're gonna be here for the rest of the stream. This is where the stream's gonna end. And I'm not saying because it's gonna end early. 
I'm saying, because this is going to take the rest of the stream. <laughs> I hate it. Oh my god, I didn't- I thought it didn't go in. I thought he didn't go into the fucking thing. I thought he didn't burrow. I thought I was not on the flower. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. We're in the flower. Now we're gonna go to this one coming around here. Okay. Now we're gonna do the middle. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do the one that is... Which one? That one. Fuck. <sighs> Alright. You want to try to get the, the key that I usually find is that you want to try to get the ones that are going in the opposite direction that you're facing. Because it's very hard to get them when they're going in the same direction. So you want to try to get them as they're coming toward you. Okay. Alright, yeah, see, so, like, trying to get that one's gonna be very difficult because it's not gonna really work well. This is a bad camera angle. Here we go, okay. Can we get the blue? Okay. I think we can get it if we try to hit it from this side. Nope. I don't think... Alright, one thing we could do that would make things a little, not easier, but better, is we wait for the blue one to come around so that I get that first and get five rupees back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good way to try to not run out of money. Okay, it's a good start. <laughs> this is the same, like there's two, two platforms that do the same thing each time. Yikes, oh my god, stay on. <laughs> don't need that. That I don't need. Okay, get in. Alright, we want to try to get that one. As it comes around. Okay, now we can try to go for the middle again. I think that's probably ideal. And then we have to get this uh, the last one, which is where? There, okay. This might be it. Oh my god! I hate this game. I fucking hate this so much. See, the thing is, we, you have plenty of time, generally. You have pl pretty much plenty of time. So, there's not really a need to hurry. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Alright. Alright. Start here. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is the worst minigame I've ever played in my life. No, it's not. It's not fishing. <laughs> it's not fishing. Therefore, it can't be the worst minigame. It's, it's close. Okay. 
Hmm. So this is where, like, if I was not doing a stream and I was just doing a Let's Play, I would fucking cut until we do it. Which would take a long time, but I would, you know, you wouldn't have to watch me. Because this is not entertaining content. Okay. Now what did I do? I did... This one here, right? Then we went back to the middle. Yeah, see how much time we have? We have so much time. <sighs> Alright. So we can afford to take the time to line this up. Here it comes. All right, we got it. Whew. Now that one I think is the worst of the three. So the third one should be a little less bad, but not much. Not much, but I want to save state this one for sure. <laughs> Absolutely want to save state that. That's not what I want to do. Um, okay, so we have day two. What can we... Excuse me. What can we do on day two? Not sure what Gorman's doing. Is he in his room? Kind of invested in the saga now. <laughs> kind of a bit invested in the saga. The Saga of Gorman. I have to come all the way down here. It's fine. It's fine. Unnecessary. Um, so... You're not going to be in there. You're going to be in here. Can do a little bit more heart piece collecting. Do do do! Don't talk to her right now. Although the dance for the carnival is ready, the troop leader won't come to view it. Though the song is ready, the troop leader won't come to hear it. We're pretty prepared, but our troop leader seems to be acting strange for some reason. Well, we haven't even seen the stage yet. It looks like we're going straight to the big show without any rehearsal. They all, they both say the same thing? Yeah, okay. Where is Gorman? Uh, Ange will be leaving right away, mumble mumble. Dude's hung over. Dude's hung over. What do you guys say? Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me, like the rumors about the swamp to the south, you hear about the kidnapping. Oh my, the kidnapping. Yup, but then the kid woke up. <laughs> the kidnapping. Uh, I got a million of them. There was a kidnapping, though. I mean, we, we laugh about that. We laugh about the kidnapping. Yeesh. <laughs> Alright, so one thing... Actually, I want to go back in here. One thing I want to do, because we have money. We have some money. I'm going to... We're going to be Deku Link, because he's faster. Hop on in here. I want to go look at the telescope again. Because I think we might see something interesting. Might be too late. I'm not sure if it's too late. If it is, then we wasted a couple of minutes. But <laughs> I, think, I don't think it's too late. I think we can keep doing this. Give me the money. Alright, 
We still have to do another Deku Playground. Uh, uh, good thing is we can save state, so if I if it takes too long, we can just end the stream. <laughs> I'd like to look in the telescope again, my good sir. Look at that troublemaker be doing a top clock tower. Can I not look in the telescope? I want to look at the telescope. Oops. Yes. I want to look in the telescope. There he is. There he is. What are you doing? Also, there's a guy in that tree. Also, there's that guy. <laughs> I legitimately never knew about that guy before. I knew about this guy over here. Hey, dude. What are you doing? Where you going, buddy? What's up? Hope. Okay. Did you discover anything interesting? I think I did discover something interesting, if I'm being honest. I saw some weird shit. There's some weird shit going on in Termina Field. Let me tell you, Mr. Mr. Telescope Man. Mr. Galileo Man. So that guy only starts flying outside of the town like that after you have uh, purchased his Deku Flower. Turns out you can do it a whole ass day later. <laughs> as long, I guess as long as it's in the same cycle. Okay. Works for me. Man, we need to get ourselves a bunny hood. Which we're gonna do soon. As a matter of fact. We are gonna do soon, so... We will have ourselves a bunny hood before, uh... Maybe before the end of the stream. Depending on how long it takes to... Do the last of the Deku Playground. Actually. Alright, so hold up. Let's plug this in. There we go. Nice and... Controller. Not gonna die on me. Also, this dude's up in a tree. And there's money up in this tree. Hey, dude. What, what are you doing? Can I talk to you? Nope. But I can knock you out of this tree. And take the money that you were going for. That feels really like... I stole that rupee from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. Oh, sorry. I kind of feel like the bad guy in this situation. <laughs> kind of feel like that was the bad thing to do. Hey, buddy. Found you. What's up? Hey. What are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come here without permission. Please. I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. 150 rupees. No. No good. In that case, you leave me no choice. A hundred rupees. Okay. Got yourself a dealio. It's not that I don't believe you, but just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. Hurry up and get out. Bye, dude. Bye, dude. See ya. Okay. Well, we spent a bunch of money. Hopefully, that won't bite me in the ass. Um, I'm not sure what else there is to do. I don't think there's much else to do at the moment. I think... We just zip ahead to day three. 
I don't think there's anything else. I'm trying to think. We did the Swordsman School. We got Cafe's Mask. We got Kamaro. We did that. We did... All that other stuff. I don't think there's anything else. On day two. So I'm going to zip ahead to day three. And then we will grit our teeth and do this again. It's fucking shit that I hate so well. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it the most. Alright, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's zip ahead. Alright, so this will zip forward to night of the second day. And then we'll once again zip ahead to dawn of the third day. And we are nice and slow. Uh, we are nice and slowed down with time. So we should be okay. Alright. I think the key thing here is we want to start on the opposite side because I think the platforms that are rotating, now we have rotating and we have uh, up and down ones. I think we want to start on this side. All right, we'll do it. So we survey the landscape. It's 116, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we want to get these as they're coming around this side. Same deal. Then we want to do the up and down ones in the corner. Then we go into the middle. And then repeat the process. I think that was that's the winning formula that I usually have. Not that I do it right every time, but yep, yeah, and we already failed. Okay, cool. Off to an excellent start. This game can suck a fat <clears throat> hot dog. Waiting for the blue one because if I wanna, I wanna act, like get five right out the gate. Uh, all right, here goes. Hate this fucking game. I fucking hate it. All right, off to a better start than before. Okay. All right, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna let it come up to the peak. And we're going to grab whichever one of these we end up landing on. It's fine. We're going to deal with the shaking, which is kind of not ideal, but we'll do it anyway. We're going to grab this. Then we're going to wait for the other one to come back around, which is over here. Come up. We shoot up. We grab it. Okay. And then last but not least, we get the one in the middle. If I have to land on here, I'm fine with it. It's fine. <laughs> Just let it fall under me. There we go. Ah, all right. As I said, the second day is the hardest one, for sure. Uh, you're obviously a pro, and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. Fuck you guys. Never have to do this again. Ah, it's Link, hide. Fuck out of here with your rigged carnival games. <sighs> well, we're done with that. Thank fuck. 
Ugh. What a terrible minigame. Oh my god. Alright. It's over. We managed it. It's great. It's all done. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to venture outside of town. Because we can go to the ranch. And we can't do much at the ranch. But we can go there. Because... What do you have to say? You, you looking up at something? What are you looking up at? Timing for your trip to Woodfall is great. You'd better leave town as quickly as you can. Surely they're somewhere in town worrying about you. Go find them and leave town together. Hmm. What do the carpenters have to say? What do you guys have to say? Oh, I'm not gonna run, not me, you got that? I'm Master Muto's apprentice. I'm sorry, Bremer, but I'm going too. People are fleeing. The only people who seem totally unperturbed by it are the fucking kids. Which kind of makes sense because maybe nobody's really told them what's going on. What do you say? Do you say something yet? Rumors are spreading which suggest the moon is falling, but you can breathe easier as long as I am in town. Tonight I shall cut the moon into pieces. If one does not have such skill, he cannot teach the way of the sword to others. If you wish to be as powerful as I am, then I shall teach you until nighttime. So will you try it? Nope. Mm, so you're gonna cut the moon into t into pieces, huh? All right, dude. I'm gonna come to you tonight, and uh, we'll go cut the moon into pieces. I'll hold you to that. Shit gets, uh, kind of fucky here, man. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to the ranch. Now, we couldn't normally get into the ranch on day one or two because there is a big-ass boulder blocking the way. There is a big-ass boulder blocking the way. I'm going to stay away from this fucking bird. So I would very much prefer if my sword didn't get stolen. Hi. <laughs> Do not steal my sword, you asshole. Alright, so we are going to hack this owl statue, which is great. Hacky hack hack. I am going to uh, shoot down Tingle. So I can buy a map of the ranch. Should be nice and swell. How you doing, buddy? You doing okay? Is that hard on your knees? Okay, blah blah blah. I already know who you are. I will. I will buy one of your maps. I will buy a map. Stop talking, please. Um, Romani Ranch. Goodbye. Goodbye, dude. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Um, where am I? I would like to go this way. This dude has been hacking at this boulder for three days. Open the way. You sure did, buddy. In we go. Romani Ranch. Let's go see how the people are doing here at the ranch. I bet they're all fine. Why is there no roof on that barn? Why does the barn not have a roof? Where's the roof? L look! Isn't that your horse? Yeah, it is. Sure is my horse. It's currently behind a fence, though, and I can't get it. Well, shit. Oh well. Uh, 
Huh? You... Who are you again? You look, uh, tired. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Right now I'm thinking a little. My little sister, my sister, she... she <clears throat> what shall we do? Her precious cows. I thought it would come to this, then what Romani said, I should have. What cows? There's no roof. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> Alright, well, we're clearly not going to find out about this until later. This is a very interesting side thing that we'll do at some point. We're here specifically, though, for this place. We have a use for this mask. So let's hop on over here into the cuckoo shack. Cuckoo, cuckoo shack, cuckoo shack. Cacao shack. There's chocolate in here. Hey, buddy, you got you got some chicks. I heard it from my gramps. It says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. <sighs> oh well. Uh. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. Well, I know how to make them mature and become adults real fast, huh? You know... It's very easy to make a joke about chicks just flocking to Link. But I'm not going to make that joke. Because it's beneath me. I gotta find some chicks. Well. We can lead the troop because we have the troop leader's mask, right? Three, four, five, six. I got six little chickies. There's seven and eight. No. Seven. Eight. I see nine. Where's number ten, though? There's nine. Okay. One positive difference about the Switch Pro controller versus the um, N64 controller is that on the Switch Pro Controller, the A and B aren't, like, carved into the plastic. They're just, like, typed onto the button. So I don't feel like I'm going to have a B button imprinted into my thumb by holding this down for so long. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied here. You can have this from me. Best mask in the game. Got ourselves a bunny hood. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> well, I'm glad I glad I could help you, man. Oh, all right. But what if? <laughs> what if? No, I'm not gonna do it. 
I'm not gonna do it. But we have the bunny hood now, so we're going to uh, pretty much never unequip this. We're just gonna run real fast from now on. Oh, it's so freeing. Once you can run this fast, man. When you can run this fucking fast. Oh, I don't have to become a scrub anymore. So nice. Alright, I don't really know that there's much else to do in this cycle. Um, there is a hundred rupee treasure chest I can grab, which I want to do. Actually, 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 almost forgot. Almost forgot we can buy the big bomb bag now. We can buy ourselves a big bomb bag. I want to make sure we do that. I'm going to make sure we don't forget to do that. And in order to do that, I do want to snag that 100 rupee treasure chest. Although, we actually could go kill a Dodongo instead. And save that 100 rupee treasure chest for later. So I could deposit it in the bank because I'm min-maxing my fucking money in this game. I don't know what it is about this game that makes me want to be, like, hyper-efficient. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> but it's just, like, this deep-seated thing that I just, I really want to, like, maximize my cycles and maximize my, you know, the whatevers. It's not necessary. But it is for me. Hiya. Hiya, even. Give me that 50 rupees. Give me that 50 rupees. How are you even here? Dodongo's cavern, cavern isn't even in this world. There's no Dodongo's Cavern in Termina. What are we talking about here? Why is there Dodongo's? Doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. One more? One more for the road? There we go. Alright. So that's some money. Now we got some now we got some playing money. Got some money to play with. And uh, we will go ahead and buy a big bomb bag so that we have bombs. Which we can do because we saved the old lady at the bomb shop from getting robbed. We are a good person, and the bomber justice guy let it fucking happen, and he is not a good person. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, hey, buddy. Welcome. Just got a larger bomb bag in stock. Seems there are fewer and fewer people around. We'll still be open, so come again. You might want to, like, flee. Uh, hi, old lady. Do you say anything? Nice fella helped me out so we can finally sell big bomb bags. Once again, the giants are looking out for me. Uh, mommy, don't go picking up bomb bags in the middle of the night anymore. It's like asking to be mugged. And I've actually heard that a thief has been lurking on the outskirts of town. It's been our lifelong dream to sell big bomb bags since back in your daddy's day. Since we can't get the Goron made goods, this was our big chance, Sonny. Just don't want anything to happen to you, Mommy. Oh, that's sweet. All right, well, there we go. Big bomb bag, 90 rupees. So technically it's not 100% because I never got the regular bomb bag. I'll live. <laughs> I think I'll survive. All right, so I think we're good to be done with this cycle, except 
two things. First thing, I want to go get another 100 rupees and I want to deposit the whole shebang. All 156. We're being proactive. We're going to try to bank as much money as we possibly can so that in the final round we can take it all home. It's a, it's a game show joke. It's a game show joke. Because, like, in game shows, you usually, like, bank money, and then at the end you can win whatever you bet. It's, 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 forget it. Anyway, we're going to uh, swim over here into this little crevasse. We're going to grab ourselves a blast mask, even though I have 30 bombs. We're still going to use the blast mask. Put up your shield, use the blast mask. Boom. Normally hurt yourself. If you put up your shield, you don't hurt yourself. Because I think that's actually not how it's supposed to work, but it is how it works. So, eh. oh, well, somehow I keep pressing down when I mean to press that button. It's fine, though. Give me those hundred bucks. We're going to go bank our money. And then, I'm going to go to Night of the Third Day, even though we don't really need to. kind of want to see what Gorman's up to, though. What is Gorman up to? Did they leave? They may have left. They may have, like, bounced out of town. What do you say now? Gonna be taking refuge in the evening like the others. You should run too. Seems like it's going to fall tomorrow morning. Huh? Not according to the carpenter people. They gone? I think they're just gone. Yeah, they left. Where'd they go? Who knows? All right, so let's go ahead and deposit money. Then I want to skip to night of the final day, and I just want to check. I want to check on that swordsman guy because he's like he's gonna kind of cut the moon in half. And if we just cut the moon in half, you know, then I think we win, right? We just win the game because then everybody's safe. So I'm good with that. Let's do that. Let's deposit money. We're gonna deposit 156. Pause all the money. What do we got? 612. Alright, we are a tenth of the way there. Um, let's... Let's go slice the moon into pieces. Let's do it. I have all the confidence in the world. All the confidence in the world that this guy is going to um, come through for me. Let's fucking do it, man. Let's do it. You got this? Rumors are spreading. It is nighttime. Maybe it's after midnight. Don't make it be after midnight. It's definitely after midnight, right? It's after midnight. That's when it happens. That makes this a little less fun, honestly. <laughs> I didn't really want to have to wait around a bit. I just wanted to kind of just do this, and then it would have been that's fine, but it's still whatever. Whatever. So, we want to talk about uh, theories about Majora's Mask <laughs> while we wait for things. Right? Let's well hold on. Let's see what the postman's up to. What's the postman up to? What are you doing? You oh, you seem Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. To me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. Dude, back like in the summertime when there there was like a, a hurricane that was like a bomb hurricane, like a big fucking hurricane that was coming for Florida. 
I don't remember which one it was because there's so many ridiculous hurricanes anymore. Um, but one of them, uh, this past summer, it was coming to Florida, and, like, people were evacuating, right, because it was going to, like, destroy towns, <laughs> because it was, like, a Cat 5 or something. Um, and I remember seeing a tweet of, like, UPS still delivering packages the day before the hurricane, and... Like, I liter it literally was like this fucking postman, where it's like, you can't flee a natural disaster because you're scheduled to work the next day. And, like, as a kid, obviously, you know, again, as a kid, this game was um, fun because it was a fun puzzle game, dungeons and fighting and stuff. But, like, as an adult, you see some of the shit that happens in this game, you're like, holy Christ, man. <laughs> they wrote this, right? They wrote this. This guy will ref is refusing to flee, refusing to evacuate Clocktown because he knows he's got to work the next day. And if that isn't a fucking indictment of the entire world's, like, work ethic shit, I don't know what is. Um, but, like, <laughs> man, <laughs> it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, you, I don't have any money, so there's nothing to do there. Um, I don't think there's much of anything to do here. Is this guy still here? This guy on break back in an hour. Well, I don't think you're coming back. <laughs> I don't think that guy's coming back. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? Do you say anything interesting? Welcome. We just got a larger... Oh, he's saying the same thing. All right. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You're still here. You really should go see the fireworks. This may be the last time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's try our big bomb bag. Too bad that happened to you. What do you say? Do you say anything about the disaster that's coming? Don't tell me you came all the way here on a day like this just to buy bombs. It's between us, but I have a huge bomb that the store doesn't carry. And the product's so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. Well, I think you should be heading home soon anyway. Alright, well, we're waiting until midnight. Because this guy promises me that we are going to cut the moon into pieces with our swords. So, we have to do that. It's so important, because cutting the moon into pieces with uh, our swords is going to end the threat of the moon on Clocktown, and then uh, we should be fine. Everything should be fine. So, I think we will be fine if we do that. Um, and we still have some time to kill. So, interesting that Gorman left. Um... I think depending on depending on how you play out his stuff through it, because he's got like multiple little side quests and, and you know pieces to his schedule and the, the, the other people that are part of his troop, and you could do different things on different cycles and d things do go differently, right? Um, so I'm not sure. I I never really follow him past the second day because it's usually when all the stuff stops, all his side quests and stuff are done. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a way to make him stay past the second day. Probably not. I'm not sure. I don't think there is. But, yeah, his story is super interesting, and we'll find out more about that. As, once we're able to, like, really get into the, the ranch stuff, that's where we'll get more information on Gorman. And he is just a fascinating character. But we're just about to midnight, and that is when we're going to hit the final hours. Then we'll see if we can go uh, cut the moon into pieces. Right? We're going to cut the moon into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
We're gonna go cut the moon into pieces? Uh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. That is fucking visceral, man. <laughs> e for everyone. Might I remind you. Might I remind you how this game is E for fucking everyone. We're going to the ranch real quick. I'm going to deposit my money and I want to go to the ranch real quick. I'm, I'm actually not sure what's going to be over at the ranch. If I'm being honest. Deposit my 25 bucks. Yes, I am min-maxing that hard. Alright, so we're going to go to the ranch. I should have time to get there. If not, then oh well. But we'll try. We'll, we'll race the clock to get to the ranch. I just want to see... I must get a hold of myself. I must guard the gate until the captain or captain's orders come. He is waiting for an order to evacuate that's never going to come. This is fucked up, dude. This shit is so fucked up. E for everyone. Dude. I... <laughs> I know there's people that don't really, that think this game's overrated or don't really like it that much or whatever, but man, like, this, it's just so visceral. Uh, you sure did, buddy. <laughs> so I want to see, I know there's, like, people evacuate to the ranch. I'm curious what you guys are doing. This is one of the things, I don't do this enough. I don't try to see what's going on enough. Like, going off the beaten path. This ranch opens, oh, it's just closed. Okay. It's locked. Oh, they're, are they, they're probably in the barn. Alright, There's. I don't think there's going to be anything to see here. Well, while we're here, we might as well just check with Grog. See if any of this stuff is open, if any of the doors open, if anybody says anything interesting, if we see people cowering in fear. Closed. He's probably just gonna say, oh, they're roosters. Nope, it's not, it's closed. Okay, everything's closed. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, uh, obviously, save and return to dawn of the first day. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching, whether you're watching live here on Twitch or after the fact on the Twitch VOD. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hold on. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, um, whether you're watching on Twitch or after the fact with the Twitch VODs or after after the fact on the YouTube VODs, however you're watching, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it, guys. We are finally going to start things, right? So we uh, did a whole bunch of pre-work. We've done a lot of stuff. I'm going to slow time down now so I remember to do it. Um, we've gotten a bunch of heart pieces, a bunch of masks. We did a whole bunch of side stuff. And now it's time to start the first area and do the first dungeon and all that stuff. So we're going we're gonna to do that next time so today is what is today uh the 16th so monday is what the 20th monday the 20th is going to be the next stream and uh that's going to be at 7 p.m eastern time until about 9 30 ish and we are going to go to the southern swamp and try to do all of the stuff that we can do in the southern swamp we're going to do the woodfall temple i think we're going to try to just totally knock out the southern swamp as a section of the game in the next stream that's the plan so I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I am so hyped to be playing Majora's Mask again. It is my favorite game of all time. Probably. Symphonia, Tales of Symphonia might be number one. This is probably number one, but it, whatever. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's in my top two, <laughs> at the very least. So I am just so fucking hyped to be playing this game again. I love playing it. I play through it so fucking much. And this is I couldn't even tell you what playthrough this is of mine. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to do more Majora's Mask on Monday the 20th, and we're going to do the Southern Swamp and the Woodfall Temple, so I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you then. Good night.